This is the Natidi battery powered chainsaw. Comes with some safety goggles, some gloves, an adjustment screwdriver, a spare chain, and here's the part number for a replacement chain, two batteries, a charger, and the user manual. In the manual it says to charge the batteries before the first use. The charger has a jack that inserts into the battery. And when it's charging, it uses about 14 watts. It starts out with the red light on. And after about two and a half hours, the light turns green. It's now reading one watt. But that means the battery is fully charged. For safety purposes, always remove the battery when working on the saw. And before using it, you want to take some oil and put it in between the chain and the guide rail. And the oil is a good lubricant to prevent friction and heat in the groove. It has a spring-loaded guard at the top. This thing cuts through branches like hot butter. This old tree stump is about five inches wide right there. This thing is nice and powerful, feels solid. Nicely built. My driveway has these two big Leland cypresses, and after about 20 years of shedding the little evergreen leaves, they have started to build up and they are blocking the little concrete drainage pipe. You can just barely see the pipe right there. So I cut about 30 branches. The battery is still going strong. So I was able to easily cut a path through the jungle. And I'm gonna take a shovel and remove all this debris. But I just noticed there's like a volleyball. So I just cut out this side too. There's about 20 more cuts. And here's the second pile that I removed. Still running on the first battery. This thing is awesome. So now I'll take a shovel and remove all this debris. So the drainage pipe is nice and clear. To adjust or replace the chain, you loosen this nut right here, and in the handle is a Phillips head tool, and there's an adjustment screw right there, and you turn it either clockwise or counterclockwise. And now you can replace the chain. 
after reinstalling the chain, you tighten the adjustment screw until there's a little bit of play, a little bit of slack. That's about the perfect amount right there. Then you retighten the nut and the chain should spin freely. And to sharpen the chain, you want a four millimeter round file. And you go tooth by tooth. And you file the inside of the cutting tooth. There'll be a link below of the exact item I purchased.